Hey everybody, my name is Willa Han and I'm super, super excited today because we just arrived at the Kentucky Horse Park for the USDF Regional Championships. I've got Santi here, he made the drive up from Nashville. It's about a three hour drive, so he's been in there a little bit, but um, it's not nearly as bad as when we go down to Florida or something. So we just arrived to the horse park. We're gonna be competing tomorrow and Saturday here. And yeah, I'm just so excited. I'm going to go ahead and start getting his stall ready. Um, they have us in this brand new barn over here that is so gorgeous. They just finished the construction on it two weeks ago, I just heard. So we're some of the first people to get to use it. I'm gonna break it in and yeah, I'm just so excited. So he's in on the trailer for a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and get my shavings and everything and start getting it set up so I can take him off. I'm gonna let him go have a little bit of a walk before I take him to his stall, even though it's ready. I'm gonna go explore a little bit. He always likes to pee right off after he comes off the trailer. I always put him in the stall too quick and then he pees all over his fresh shavings. So today we're gonna give him a little bit of a walk break. So the Kentucky Horse Park is where they have the famous Kentucky three day event, which I've been to before. This is actually the cross country course for that show. So this is super cool. All of the best horses and riders in the world have galloped their horses across this very grass. And so Santi's first time seeing it and being here. It's so cool. I knew it. I knew he was gonna do it. We got it. <laughs> he's very predictable at least. You know exactly what he's gonna do. All right, good boy. got his stall all set up. It's so nice. This barn is amazing. It's huge and he's very happy. He seems to have traveled really nice. He's really calm and relaxed and seems to just be a happy, happy guy. So I'm gonna go check in at the show office, get his bridal number and everything, and then I'm gonna hop on him for a little schooling ride. Hey, where are you going? Back up. Of a horse show. <laughs> He's a good boy. Come here. He doesn't trust me. He doesn't trust it. I'm not gonna spray you. You're okay. <laughs> so good morning. This is. Let me see what time it is right now. It's seven o'clock right now. I just got back to the barn for the morning. I've got Santi out here. He had his little breakfast in his stall and now I'm giving him a few minutes to kind of relax. Um, got here super early this morning because I thought that I was riding at 9 a.m. and then they changed the schedule and I just now saw it. So I'm actually riding at 11, which is awesome because now I have just even more time to relax and unwind and everything. And, kind of get him ready. So right now we're out on the cross country course again. This is where we were yesterday and had this beautiful sunrise here. This is such a magical, magical little moment. So I'm gonna let him graze here for a little bit. I might take him for a walk. 
up here through the hills actually and just kind of stretch his legs out and let him enjoy the lovely environment. <laughs> Felix is enjoying, <laughs> enjoying the grass. The little pups are here. This is actually the first time I've ever brought them to a horse show with me. So they're having a lot of fun and yeah, I'm crossing my fingers for a good day. The schooling yesterday was interesting. Um, he started off really, really good. And then a lot of the horses that were in the ring with us kind of left and he got a little bit panicked there and had a little bit of a tantrum, but we worked through it and got some good work in afterwards as well. So hopefully he holds his marbles together and puts in a nice test today. All right, bud, you ready? I'm gonna trot you again. Alright, we are all tacked up and ready to start working. I'm going to give him a lunge before I get on because he was a little squirrely yesterday and it's kind of looking like we're starting down that path. So I'm going to try to get ahead of it. If you watched my other sh vlog from the last show, just a, a minor come to Jesus meeting is what we're going to call this before I get on. So he doesn't try to kill me, hopefully. Wish me luck. <laughs> Morning, we're up even earlier. It's like six right now. I've been up since. Oh my gosh, thank you guys for coming. Santi's here. Oh, good. It looks like he lay down and slept last night. That is really good. He hasn't been really laying down in the stall and sleeping, so hopefully, you're in a better mood this morning, huh, dude? Oh my gosh, he ate all the hay in his hay net. Oh, daddy, good morning. I'm getting dressed now for the final moments. I'm so excited. He looks absolutely gorgeous and we'll see. We'll see if he behaves. That's kind of the part that remains to be seen. It's been a lot to handle the past few days. So I'm just gonna do my best and do the best test that I can and hope for the best. That's kind of all we can do at this point, but um, I'm excited. So let's go.
out in the pasture grazing Mel. I'm letting him have a little bit of a break, let him take a nap in his stall before we came out here for a few hours, and he's just chilling. I could not be happier with how that test went. That is absolutely the best that we have ever done that test. I mean, that was just phenomenal. There are a few mistakes that I've made pretty consistently in that test, and we didn't make a single one of them today. It was just perfect. Um, the score wasn't enough to place us. It wasn't wasn't at the top. You know, there are 55 riders in my class. Um, definitely a lot. The score was lower than I expected, but overall, I'm just, I'm so proud of him, and I'm hungry. I'm hungry for more. I'm coming back, and I'm super excited. I'm going to be moving him up enough, another level uh, when we get back home, so I'm excited about that and excited to keep on training and going with him. Um, so we're going to hang out here for a little bit. There's going to be a, bit, a dressage Grand Prix freestyle class under the lights tonight. So we're going to watch that and just hang out. Um, going to ride him again tomorrow. We're not showing tomorrow. Just going to have a really nice schooling ride and end everything on a high note before we go home. officially back home from the show now. Yesterday was such a wild day that I completely forgot to video. I think I have some videos of some of the writing that I did yesterday, but yesterday was absolutely insane. So I'm gonna back up a little bit. Um, Saturday was the championship class and I was so excited about it. It went super, super well. So, you know, it was the best that I think we have ever done that test. So I was just so overjoyed and happy with the results of that. And then um, Sunday, so I planned to stay at the show one extra day and actually come home on Sunday instead of on Saturday because I wanted to be able to ride him and school around on the showgrounds a little bit and just have a really relaxed, low pressure day on Sunday where I just kind of got him around and got him used to being at the showgrounds a little bit. Um, it was not as low pressure and relaxed as I had hoped. Um, we had a really awesome ride. I worked on a lot more work with him um, for the next level because I'm planning on moving him up soon and that all went really well We had a really really awesome um, Ride and then he just got really freaked out and started kind of panicking and actually got loose on the cross-country course right before um, We loaded up and came home. So that was a little bit wild ended up running him down and catching him and then loaded him up and on the way home blew a tire and we ended up Luckily, we got really lucky. Um, someone was driving by that owned a tire shop in the town. It was a tiny little town in between Bowling Green and Elizabethtown, I believe. So there was nothing in the area at all, but we got really lucky and a really nice guy helped us out and changed the tire for us so that we were able to get home. But um, yeah, we made it home. It was a little bit crazy and not definitely not the easy, relaxed day that I hoped it was going to be. But overall, I'm just... You know, it was, this show was really a lot. It was a lot of hard work getting to this point, getting qualified and everything. And so I'm just really happy that we had a really good test on Saturday and, you know, hopefully gained a lot of good experience for the future. So thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you're subscribed to see more.